So my thoughts on the second episode of Stephen Fry's dinosaur documentary uh, series. The believe it or not, I hate to admit this, but it got, this episode got a lot better than the first one, in my opinion, because they had the the um, uh, Utah Raptor with feathers, of course, since dromaeosaurs have feathers. They talked about relationships, of course, with birds and dinosaurs, and since um, dromaeosaurs are close or more closely related to birds, and since they are more bird-like, it would make sense. Also, the arms of the of Utah Raptor are not pronated. I don't think. Like they're not like the Jurassic Park style Velociraptor arms that are pronated. They're just like hidden away like this. They also talked about the killing technique of um, of Utah Raptor. So it wasn't like a slash and dash kind of thing like we see in Jurassic Park. Um, Dromaeosaurs, what they always do is that, especially with Utah Raptors, that when they kill an animal, they pin down the animal with their massive weight and then they use their well they hold on to the foot they hold the prey animal with their foot claws and then they do the killing technique like biting and clawing and that sort of way um they also showed an iguanodontid um stabbing the, the utah raptor now i that's the only problem is that the Iguanodon should have killed the Utah Raptor, but at least that the Utah Raptor fought another day until we come back with the pack um, thing. You know, the stereotype of, you know, dromaeosaurs being pack animals. Well, according to Dr. Jim Kirtland, the person who found, well, the paleontologist who found Utah Raptor, he said that they would have hunted in packs. I mean, that's his, I guess, um, opinion, <laughs> but modern birds don't hunt in packs with the exception of these hawks. I forget the names, but they hunted in packs like wolves do, but there is no hierarchy with, there's probably no hierarchy like with like wolves, like alpha male and female eating the carcass first and stuff like that. But what had happened is that the adults, and this includes with reptiles like crocodilians and Komodo dragons, when they kill a prey animal, the adults eat first, and then the juveniles and other younger individual animals eat the carcass last. Um, <laughs> and of course, Dr. Jim Kirtland being in the interview was pretty awesome because I like jo Dr. Jim Kirtland. He's been a lot of uh, paleontology interviews and and etc. Well, documentaries and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but like it does have it. The but and but regardless, the second episode is better, but it still has its own problems. Now, I can't wait till the final episode of of T-Rex. I wonder how that plays out. But, uh, yeah, we'll see.